commutative property of multiplication. Welcome to today's lesson where we will be exploring the commutative property of multiplication. Come here, come, come here, come here. The commutative property of multiplication simply states that when you change the order of the factors, the product will still be the same. five columns, the second factor is five. So we put it all together, the multiplication equation will be two times five equals ten. That makes so much sense. Yes, it does. I'm glad you think so. Now, let's consider rotating egg carton into this orientation. This time, we have one, two, three, four, five rows. And since there are five rows in this orientation, the first factor will be five. Then we check out the columns. There's one, two columns. And since there are two columns in this orientation, the second factor will be two. So, we're gonna put it all together now. The multiplication equation would be five times two equals 10. So whether it's in this orientation, which we would call landscape, equation is 2 times 5 equals 10. If it's in this orientation, the equation is 5 times 2 equals 10. Either way, the product of 10 is still the same. Pretty simple, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So that means you're ready to prove that you know it. Yes, I am. To write a multiplication equation for the model, then use the commutative property of multiplication to write a related multiplication sentence. Alright, here's what we have. We've got some guitars and they're placed in groups. I want you to notice how many are in each, each group and how many groups there are. So how many groups are there? Very good, there are four groups. And how many are in each group? That's right, there are three guitars in each group. And what's the total amount of guitars that you see? That's my product. Well done, that's 12, excellent. Now we're gonna flip the factors. Three times, what is it? Four, very good, equals, product still remains the same, 12. That's correct, very good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. having a lot of fun. All right, what we're gonna do now is continue with some more arrays. I want you to count the amount of rows you see and the columns. First row, very good, three rows. How many are in each row? Very good, five. And my total amount or my product is 15, excellent. Now, look how the orientation has changed. Now the rows, are five. Very good. We're flipping the factors. So the next factor is three. Excellent. And my product remains the same. That's the commutative property. 
next one. 15. Well done. All right, let's try another one. Some more arrays. And you have to count the amount of rows you see in the first array. Good, four rows. And how many are in each row? Again, five is another factor, very good. And my total amount in the first array is 20. Excellent. Now we're flipping the orientation and the factors. Five times four, correct. And the product remains the same. It's 20, good. Let's try another one, shall we? You're doing great. I just want to make sure that you really understand. So check out this array. It's a lot, but you can do it. Count the amount of rows first. First orientation, very good, five. And how many in each row? That's it, seven. And my total amount, five times seven is 35. Excellent. Let's go ahead and look at the other orientation. Flip the factors and you've got seven times, that's right, five. And the answer remains the same, the product remains the same, which is 35. Excellent. You're understanding the point to the property multiplication very well. So, no matter what order I multiply my factors, the product will still be the same. Oh, you got it, and that's it. That's pretty much what I was trying to teach you. You got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Anne had a lot of fun learning today. I hope you did as well. Join me again on the next video. Bye-bye.